Welcome back. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a landing page for your website. And we're going to design it with Elementor. And a landing page is basically a page without a header and footer. And it has a specific purpose. And the reason there's no header and footer visible on the page is because that way there's as less distraction as possible. And all the attention is towards the offer or the opt-in form that is often used for. So let me show you how it works. I will design it for this website that you can see over here. I have created several tutorials in which I'll explain step by step how you can create this website. So if you're interested in it, make sure to check it out. All the videos are on my channel. And with that being said, I have already been locked into the WordPress dashboard as you can see over here. And the first thing you need to do to create a landing page is you need to go over to this option in the menu pages and you need to click on it or you can click on add new so let's click on add new now you see this screen has been loaded and you need to close this window and over here you can select a title for your landing page so let's call this landing page test and after you have entered the title you can click on edit with elementor on this blue button over here so let's do that Now you can see that the page has been loaded and now you can design the page if you want to. But you can see that the header and the footer are visible and we don't want that. And you can also see that this title that we've just entered in the WordPress dashboard is also displayed on the canvas. And the next thing we need to do to make this a completely blank canvas is we need to go over to this option over here in the left corner settings. You need to click on it. And over here you can see the page layout option and now it's it has been set the default but if you want you can also set it to Elementor canvas and that means that the page will be completely blank so let's do that select it and after the page has been loaded you can see that the canvas is now completely empty so there is no header no footer and also no page title on the canvas and if you want to, you can now just build up everything from scratch by using the widgets over here in the menu. You can just import a section, determine how the structure must be for the columns. So for example, with this template, there are two smaller columns and one wider column. You can just import it and then you can just drag all widgets that you want to be on the canvas into the columns. And that way you can build up your website. But Another faster way is to just import templates and you can do that by clicking over here on the folder icon. So let's do that. And after the page has been loaded, you can now see that there are all kind of different templates available that you can just import with one click. So let's see which template I want to import. Scroll through, you can see a lot of nice professional looking templates are available. So that's pretty good. Let's see, I think I go for, it's just only for this tutorial, but for this one over here, the last one. So I'll just click on insert. Then we need to wait for the template to be loaded. So now you can see that the template has been imported into the page and uh, there's no header and no footer available. So that's what we want for this, uh, for this landing page. For example, you can delete a section if you want to, but just by clicking on this X mark, it becomes a little compactor. Now it looks like this, and this could be a pretty good landing page. Of course, you can change the text and all the info and all the widgets, and you can add widgets if you want to just by go over uh, to the widget section and just for example, you can add an icon or whatever. So uh, everything is possible. So make sure that the landing page is the same styling as the rest of the pages of your website. For example, your home page and everything. So, so that's uh, pretty logical. But this is how it works. And, and this is how you can hide, uh, and this is how you can hide the header and the footer for your page. So for example, 
let's say this is how we want the design to be. I won't style everything now because the uh, tutorial would be unnecessarily long. So I'll just publish it. Now you can see that the page is live. So let's view it in an incognito tab. And over here you can see that this is how it looks for a regular visitor. So I hope you learned something new from this short tutorial. If you want to create a landing page with Elementor, now you know how you do it. I'll just show you one more time to make sure. Only thing you have to do is create a new page in the WordPress dashboard. And then you can edit the page. And the first setting you need to do is over here in the left corner, click on this icon and then set the page layout to Elementor Canvas. And if you set this back to uh, default, for example, or Elementor Full Width, now you will see that the header and the footer will be shown on the page again. So that's how you can change it. But for now, we want it to be a landing page. So I'll set it to Elementor Canvas. Wait for the page to load again. And now you can see that the header and footer are not available on this page. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new. Make sure to like the video if that's the case. Also hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated on new videos that will be uploaded very soon. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.